morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning. Too early for me. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna pick out my outfit. I'm a really indecisive person. Person, so this might take a minute. Yeah. Alright, guys. I'm change now. Next step is to put mascara on my lashes. Today is Wednesday, and it's a busy, busy day. Starting my morning off early, 7.30. Um, my first class is pathophysiology. Two more classes, then it's lunch, worship practice, then actual chapel, and then pancake night. And then my day's finished, <laughs> I think. This is my friend Dick, and we're on our way to Patho now. On uh, the impulse, decided to go to Taco Bell with Anna at uh, like 2 a.m. Mm, so, so good, 2 a.m. Yeah. Taco Bell. <laughs> It's a lot better. All right, so that's it for pathophysiology. Why don't we come inside and meet my professor? So this is my professor, Loretta, and she teaches pathophysiology. It's super interesting. Fun stuff. How are you Fun doing? stuff. Pretty good. A little good. sleepy today. I was just curious about, like, how you chose Fox and how you came about working here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really feel like God called me to George Fox. I was already working at a different School of Nursing and I'd been there for like 15 or 16 years and yet I didn't feel fulfilled. A friend of mine who teaches in the School of Nursing here, she just seems so full of life and so happy mm -hmm. that I started exploring George Fox. I just really realized that this is a spiritual place where I could um, teach and make a difference mm -hmm. with students, not just on the education level but on a real personal level too. And did you use the untethered lecture capture at the other school? Yeah, yeah. So about two years ago, I was struggling trying to figure out a way that I could really um, actively engage students in the learning. But with the untethered lecture capture, I can roam the room and be near you guys mm -hmm. and talk with you guys and engage with you more. <laughs> I can stretch things out. Yeah. And we can talk about very specific things, like... Uh, how an epidural hematoma is arterial bleeding. Mm -hmm. And we can signal that and make sure that people know the really important parts of what's going on here. Yeah. Wow. So there's, cool. there's a whole lot of learning theory behind why this helps people um, and how it helps them with their learning. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> So this is my beautiful friend, Bella, and she's studying for the quiz that we have in Stats, and I came and asked her a few questions because I am not prepared. <laughs> I am also not prepared, so see how, how it goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see how it goes. Yeah. All right, three classes down. Um, they went okay. I'm really tired. Don't know about swallowing too well. Um, I'm gonna head to the IRC now for some lunch and good community. This is the IRC, also known as the Intercultural Research Center. And I like to come here because it's warm on freezing days like this. And um, a big plus is also that my mother works here. <laughs> this is my mom, Mari, and she's a sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> and the IRC is a super cozy place to take a nap. I do that here sometimes, or eat. I also do that here often. Um, or just see some people that I like. Oh, did I forget about Liv? Sorry about that. This right here is Liv. She's my gorgeous nursing friend. One of my favorite things about the IRC is just the food. They have so much. They give us free cookies all the time. We have a hospitality table. And there's Soul Food Friday, where they feed you food for your soul on Friday. Crap, we're down! <laughs> Sorry. My assistant area coordinator, Kate, um, and she's in charge of us hooligans. She's just super sweet and amazing, and I'm glad that she's the boss. Uh, Anel's one of my RAs. I love her so dearly. She's a great part of our staff. Something that's like really cool about her is she does these like accents, 
You should do Should one. I demonstrate? You should. Okay, I mean, I guess the rest of the time I can talk in an accent, but I don't think it's going to be that good, you know. So, Kate, how's your day been? Oh, it's been great. That's fantastic. Yes. I so love good. that. That's good. It's been Ooh. a cold day. Mm, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, coffee. What's your favorite color? Uh, yellow. Who's your favorite person on staff? <laughs> I can't answer that question. Kate, yes, it's Kate Bray. It's fine. It's fine. So we're in the microbiology lab. Um, this is a class that nursing majors are required to take. Um, and it's pretty interesting, <laughs> but it's a little it's a little hard when it comes to lab. My teacher, Jeff, is very funny. Um, in lecture, he tries to make a lot of jokes to make it a little more interesting. And I mean, it is interesting. It's just sometimes at an in a two o'clock class at the end of the day, you're just tired, but he's, he's pretty good about putting some energy into it. It's really nice. And right now we're doing a big project called the Unknowns Project. And so he gives us bacteria uh, to identify through different tests. This is what we call the dichotomous key. And so highlighted in orange are the different tests that we do to get to the next like identification of whatever bacteria it is. And then the highlighted in blue are the number of the bacteria in a list that we have. Um, and so yeah, I'm at the very end at this point. I have one bacteria that I'm testing right now in this test, the mannitol test. Um, and so I'm waiting on that and then I have one that took the citrate test and it was positive, so now I have to do the final test and I need to ask him about how to do that. Again, I just need a little, just need a little reminder. Uh, for the fennel alanine, is this the one where you step through two and you swipe on it? Uh, for that one, you just apply it to the surface. Yeah, the one you stab in is the TSI slant. Okay. And this one's not a bit, uh, not, not necessary. So you just apply it to the surface, incubate it overnight. If you see good growth in the morning, uh, just hit it with a 20% iron solution over there. There's iron chloride. And if it turns green right away, that's positive. Okay. If it stays yellow, then it's negative. How does micro relate to nursing? And I know that you've taught this in class too. How does micro relate to nursing? Many people are gonna be in a clinic or a hospital setting because of an infectious disease, which is going to be caused by some micro in order to prevent the spread of infectious disease in a clinic or hospital setting, you have to have an understanding of how microbes can persist on surfaces, be transmitted from one patient to another by hospital personnel inadvertently. In terms of just understanding community health, having a basic understanding of epidemiology and how diseases spread through communities. And then of course, um, preventative methods such as you know hygiene, how vaccines work, how antibiotics work, how to avoid antibiotic resistance, um, letting patients know why it's important to finish their prescriptions, et cetera. So yeah, I'd say it's extremely applicable. Worship was amazing as usual. It's always so great to like hear everyone singing. Um, and now I'm headed off to the HMS lobby for pancake night. So why don't you join me? Hey, welcome to the Sun Lobby. It is Wednesday night pancake night every Wednesday, and um, it's just a great time for like the residents and anyone really to come together and do pancakes and just have fun. My favorite part about pancake night would be just hanging out with everyone. Yeah, it's just a really fun time, especially after a harsh week. You know, you come here, have some pancakes, 
and spend time with the people that you love. The best pancake flipper will have to be that there man right there, the tall one, Robert Boster. Um, he can do a pancake high and catch it with a spatula. He has talent. I would, I mean, like, I don't want to brag, but like, I might be second, you know, in pancake flipping, so. Um, pancake and I is super neat because anyone's really invited. Like, we reach out to our residents and it helps them mingle. Um, because there's different buildings and it just helps them get to know each other better. Um, and they can bring friends from other dorms. And it's really just a big part of just building community and making sure that people feel at home here at Fox. Perfect.